Today I'm gonna show you the best light for your YouTube and streaming setup. Let's go! What's going on guys? Welcome to Dial Home Tech. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys the best lighting setup for YouTube and your streaming needs in the Elgato Key Light Air Lights. If you're a YouTuber or a streamer, whether you're a new guy or a veteran in the field, this lighting setup is surely gonna bring your game in the lighting department to the next level. So let's take a look what's inside of the box for the Elgato Key Light Air. Inside of the box, as soon as you open, you're gonna find all the information and instructions on the light and how to get it set up on this nice little cardboard display that's kind of right on top of it. You can't miss it. You don't have to be fiddling for little manual papers or little sheets that will kind of help you get through it. Everything is nice and well presented easy to follow right here on top so it's easy to just kind of pull it out of the box set it on the side and it'll get you going on the setup very fast inside of the box you're gonna find the light panel as well as the footrest and a few other things which we'll go over in a second but the footrest is nice and sturdy nice and heavy so it's gonna keep the lights very well centered and keeping it from shaking it around. I've tried a couple different lights before and those kind of flimsy foot rests just don't work. It also comes with the stand for the light which has adjustable height markers right on the side to make sure that you're keeping the lights on the same height if you're setting them up side by side. And inside you're gonna find the cable and plugs for the light. Now they include plugs for different regions around the world which is a nice little touch. So if you live in Europe or South America, um, or even in Asia, you're gonna be able to find the plug that you need inside of a little plastic bag. These lights have the absolute best build I've seen on tabletop lights. They come with a 3D swivel on the back that lets you adjust the angle of the light. So if you want it pointed down, point it forward, whatever you choose, these lights are built for that. And my favorite part of it, it comes with a hidden cable rail right on the back. So you can pop the cable in there and make sure that your desk is nice and tidy. No cables hanging from the back of the light running all over your desk. So it's nice for you to keep that cable management game tip top. One of my favorite things about the light was actually the setup process. It was extremely easy and super simple. Now they do let you set up the lights on your iOS or Android device as well as Mac OS or Windows. So you can choose whether you wanna have it on your phone or if you wanna have it on a computer for ease of access. Now the light panels in itself have this multi-layer diffusion technology which is really nice on your eyes. I've used different lights before that just have those just glaring LED, white LEDs kind of hitting the heart light on your face and it's really not easy on your eyes. But with the diffuser technology that they have on this light, you can actually stare at a screen or like myself, I'm staring at the camera uh, and the lights really don't bother you. They are very easy on your eye and they don't really create the heart light um, you know, effect on your face. Now when it comes to the quality of the light panel in itself, each panel is packed with about 80 Osram premium LEDs inside. All that means is it's gonna give you pinpoint accuracy on the light temperature, so whether you want something really bright or something a little more warm, um, as well as the dimmable uh, feature that the light has. So you can keep it really, really bright or you can dim it you know, very, very subtle, uh, whatever your need may be. Now a little bit more on the app. Uh, the cool thing about the app is, is that it lets you control the lights uh, together or you can control them uh, individually if you want to. So if you have like a left and a right one, um, you can kind of turn one on, turn one off, uh, and just play with the settings that way. Or you can control them both together, which is really nice. Let me show you guys real quick right here on camera um, what the lights kind of look like when you're controlling them uh, separate. So I can kind of turn one off, uh, turn it back on, turn another one off, uh, and turn them both back on. Or I can shut both off. Uh, so you get this kind of like, you know, effect that you're controlling both lights, which is really nice. And you can also play with the temperature of each light right there on the application. So you can kind of make it a little, you know, like a warmer uh, kind of light or you can keep it nice and bright, nice and white um, right around the, you know, the 7000 Kelvin, um, you know, uh, scale. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, they go from 
2900 Kelvin all the way up to 7000 Kelvin, which is kind of the brightest setting. Uh, and you can control the dimmable option uh, from zero to 100, of course. Now, when it comes to smarts, these lights unfortunately cannot be controlled by your favorite voice assistant uh, if you're using Lady A or if you're using Google Home. So you cannot do that. Um, but that can be easily fixed by adding the lights to a smart plug, for example, like I did myself. So every time I ask my voice assistant to turn on my recording lights, um, my lights come on in the setting that I need them to. Now let's talk about the price. Yes, these are premium lights and yes, they do come with the price. Uh, the price on each individual light for the Elgato Key Light Air uh, is $129.99. So you are looking to spend $130 per light uh, if that's what you want but the quality is absolutely there. These lights are not only great for the things I've mentioned, but if you're into photography or videography, they are also a great pickup for you uh, if you're doing kind of portrait shooting or if you're just shooting things you know, on a desk. Um, they are really, really nice because they do give you a lot of options when it comes to the lighting effects that you want to use uh, and you want to portray in your shots. So you may ask, would I recommend these lights? If you haven't noticed thus far, Absolutely yes. So if you do want to up your game when it comes to the lighting uh, of your channel or stream uh, or photography and videography, definitely consider picking one of these up if the budget is not an issue. I hope you guys enjoyed the review and the unboxing. If you did so, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also here in this channel, we are talking about uh, cool technology like these lights, also home automation and smart home technology. If that is your cup of tea, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Well, again, this about wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching it. And until next time, I'm Dial. See ya.